Okay, so we talk a lot about Facebook on this channel, and that's because we know how powerful it is in the hands of small business owners who know how to leverage it to market their business. And that's why we spend a lot of time teaching you guys different Facebook marketing strategies. But what's also important to know are some Facebook marketing tools to make executing all those strategies easier and less time consuming. So today I'm sharing nine Facebook marketing tools to make your life as a marketing entrepreneur a little easier. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Before we get started, please go ahead and like this video for me, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the business growing videos we put out every single week. All right, so let's start with the biggest, maybe the most obvious Facebook marketing tool, number one, Ads Manager. If you're not familiar, Facebook says Ads Manager is your starting point for running ads on Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, or audience network. It's an all-in-one tool for creating ads, managing when and where they'll run, and tracking how well your campaigns are performing. And the only thing I'll add to their definition is that it offers extensive targeting, allowing you to target cold audiences by interest, demographic, and behavior, create custom lookalike audiences of people who look like your existing customer base or email list, etc., and retarget audiences to put ads in front of your website traffic, post engagement, existing customers, and more to convert them into buyers and repeat buyers. If you haven't seen my Facebook ads targeting video yet, I'd highly recommend you watch that to get a thorough understanding of how to use all of Ads Manager's targeting tools. But for the sake of this video, you need to know that Ads Manager is the most extensive social media ad platform out there. And if you're A, not using it, or B, not using it to its fullest potential, then you're doing yourself a disservice. I know that where you're at in your small business journey can vary greatly, but whether you're a brand new startup in need of brand awareness as much as sales, or if you're a little bit more established and ready to scale your results, either way, Facebook Ads Manager should be a daily go-to tool in your Facebook marketing. And we have plenty of videos showing you how to utilize different campaigns and tools within Ads Manager, so I will go ahead and link our entire Facebook playlist in the description that has all of those videos for you. All right, tool number two is Zoho or any dual scheduling and analytics platform. Zoho is just what we use as a digital marketing agency, but there are plenty of scheduling analytics softwares out there like Buffer, Hootsuite, and more. If you're doing a lot of posting or if you would like to be posting more, creating your content and scheduling it all at once in advance is a great way to be more efficient with your time and ensure that your posts publish every day. Now, you may be thinking, what about Facebook's native publishing tools and insights? Those are both great free options to start with, but even those tools have some limitations. So the more in-depth you get with your organic strategy and content planning, you'll want to have a software that can take care of all the little things like scheduling your Instagram hashtags as the first comment, for example. And having an analytics tool built in just gives you more insight all at a quick glance, again, saving you time. All right, tool number three is Canva. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because we have a lot of videos on Canva on our channel, but the short and sweet gist of it is that you can create all kinds of designs as a complete amateur that don't look amateur, for free. I know this video is about Facebook marketing tools, but whether you need templates for social media posts, Google display ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, logo creation, etc., Canva's got you covered. And Jelly specifically has videos on how to design Facebook video ads and how to design Facebook carousel ads, so I will link both of those in the description. All right, next up is tool number four, the Creator Studio app. This is an app that allows you to have access to Facebook's publishing tools on the go. Earlier, we talked about scheduling your content in advance as being the best Facebook content creation method. And that's true. But when you're a business owner, things get busy sometimes. Things come up last minute, or maybe your scheduling software failed to post and you need to get something rescheduled on the go. This app is a lifesaver for that. Now, before we get into tool number five, here's a quick message from one of our co-founders about our new marketing course. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. All right, tool number five is the Facebook ad library. 
If you didn't know, you can see what Facebook ads your competitors are running. Just go to your competitor's Facebook page, scroll down to the page transparency section, click see all and scroll down to ads from this page and it will tell you if they're running Facebook ads or not. If they are, then click add library and you can scroll through to see all the ads they're running. And you can see from the little gray icons if they're running the ad on Instagram as well. Now, this does not show you the results of their ads, but at the very least you can see how they are addressing your shared target audience and take away what you think they're doing well and what they're doing poorly to learn from it and build a stronger strategy for your business. All right, tool number six is the engagement invite list. You can go to any post on your Facebook page that has a lot of engagement and just go down the list inviting people to like your page if they haven't already. If you do a lot of Facebook lives or if you boost posts a lot, you're bound to have some strong post engagement, but it's not guaranteed guarantee that all the people who have engaged with your post have also liked your page. And usually the most surefire way to gain page likes is by paying for page like ads. So this is an organic or free Facebook marketing tool that allows you to maximize your engagement and get more followers. Because more Facebook followers lead to A, more brand credibility, and B, stronger brand trust as they continue to see your posts moving forward. All right, and then tool number seven is Facebook Messenger Automated Replies. I talked about this in depth in my Facebook Messenger ads video, but essentially you can set up a Messenger campaign so that Facebook automatically sends your potential customers responses that you set in advance, and it gives the user prompts to choose between that elicit different responses, all of which, again, you set up ahead of time. So if your business is lead-based, then this can be a great solution to engage with leads and provide them basic information they need until a real person from your company can get in touch with them. In my Facebook lead ads video, we talked about how there are several studies that say the optimal lead response time is five minutes or less. So that's why it's great to be able to send them an automated message right away that at the very least acknowledges them and tells them a representative will get back to them in X amount of time. And like I said, you can do this with your ads if you're running a messenger campaign, or you can set up organic automated replies for when your page receives a direct message. Just go to inbox, automated responses, and choose from the list of prompts you want automatically sent. Quick question, do you guys already use automated replies on Facebook? Let me know yes or no in the comments. All right, moving on to tool number eight, Facebook business apps. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube talk about third-party Facebook marketing tools, and there's so many out there that it can be daunting trying to determine which ones are legitimate, which ones are more harmful than helpful, and so on. But if you go to your Facebook page and click Facebook business apps, you get this huge list of Facebook-approved third-party tools that you can utilize. You can peruse through their list to find your preferred appointment scheduling software software, reservation software, e-commerce store, messaging app or food ordering app and connect it to your Facebook page to make a smooth process for your customers. So if any of those tools apply to your company, I would definitely check those out to see if they have your preferred software on there. All right, and then last but not least, tool number nine, business resources. Go to www.facebook.com slash business underscore resources and you'll see suggestions and tools catered towards your type of business. Suggestions like ways to move your business forward, how to stay connected with customers and best practices. And I say it's catered towards your type of business because I noticed that the suggestions changed when I switched to view this page from some of our clients' accounts. So Facebook seems to adjust its suggestions based on the type of business you entered when you created the page and it also updates some items to be relevant to the times. So if you haven't yet, this is just a good page to check out to see if there's anything that catches your attention or sparks an idea that you can try. All right, you guys, that about wraps up my nine Facebook marketing tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next episode.